and he changes. Yeah. And Underscore is playing Mono Red with Ursa and Sen. And Stormlag is playing Red Black Acro with Tinker and Lich. No, oh, hold on, hold on. He's playing so... Ursa and Centaur Warrunner. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> nerd guys. Well, okay. I can sadly say I did not expect this. <laughs> yeah, I've, I don't think I've seen underscore play mono red actually. Oh, when Stormlight's got a smash in his opening hand, that's already won that card. Oh, this is turning out it to be. Does beat. seem like Stormlight was expecting Mono Blue again, since he's got both Lich and Tinker. Yeah, it does seem that way. Yeah. Well, Lich and Tinker are not going to be very good against this. He's got... and we... gosh, this is such a. I I really want to look at this deck, but it's not showing me the the red cards yet. Um, for who Stormlight? Uh, I want to look at Underscore's red list. It's. It's just like a normal one, kind of. I mean, you'll see. except that it has Ursa and Centaur. That's what. Why is he playing Ursa and Centaur? Like, I get one of them for Tide because Tide's a bit useless. For both. It's an honor yeah. to fight alongside my brother. He's still got the Dream Team in there, but he starts <laughs> Ursa over Axe, obviously, because she's actually a better starter. I mean, a we're talking smack, but it's it's this deck is built to. I mean, Fight DMC here. always makes fun of me whenever I play Ursa, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind him as the fifth hero, but I'm saying instead of uh, Beastmaster, I think Roar is just too powerful. And sometimes the extra creep is nice, but yeah, it was. But I mean, I took him instead of Tide, so I still have the Roar. It is worth noting, um, uh, there's the, the, the armor isn't really going to be that bad with only, uh, with Tide gone. I mean, he can, he can still actually chain frost most of the field. I mean, the huge tank is kind of gone. Centaur still does have more health than, uh, um, Beastmaster though, worth noting. He's kind of tanky in his own right. It's also um, kind of interesting that if it comes to that, um, if Stormlight draws a march of the machines, he can eventually cycle the smash, but like that will take a while. Oh yeah, that's true. I actually used to smash my own defenses in Meepo Magic once upon a time as well. <laughs> so he's got two ways to take a kill onto the LC in mid. He can enrage or go for Legion Standard, but Spot or Duel can shut both of those down. So we'll see if Stormlight passes in mid, plays reactively. Oh, dude, is this his we play deck? Look, he's got three Trebs. Oh, I like this. And the one Lodestone. Did he Do you remember I this? think he played this is, this Ramp and we play though, didn't he? Everyone played Ramp and one other deck. Um, he played different stuff in in his group than he did in uh the bracket. Oh, okay. And he played uh, the Storm deck in bracket. But I think he played this deck. Because remember, I, he held the Trebs in hand. That was what the casters were so frustrated about. Was he like pulled the Trebuchets in his opening hand and then just like held them till mana 8 and used them? But he won. <laughs> yeah, okay. I will fight by your side. Okay, so I don't think you worried about initiative right here. I'd take the the goo, but he doesn't agree. You really want to use those pretty precisely with this deck because you're setting up for a chain frost or a march with the to capitalize off of the goo. So maybe he wants to put it on somebody else. And and what's exactly the logic behind the center? Like um, just one one hit your enemy's heroes, um, trying to super aggro the towers. Is there any specific? Uh... 
ideal play for that? I can honestly say I have never played Centaur. <laughs> I think so. He's got a couple of uses. Uh, first of all, he can kill enemy red heroes, like if you use it on them. But you have to be very careful with that. Like you have to wait until they've got no man. If you've got a red hero alone in the lane, you can burst down the tower pretty quickly, which makes the other guy uh, kind of not, you know, he can't defend it, basically. Uh, and in general, he's a bit tanky. So those are the kind of uh, plus things. I think on the negative side, he's his attack is low, and he's got the um, two retaliate. So if he's in front of, say, Axe, then he's kind of useless. Uh, but he does have a good health pool. Did this... you put the stone hole down right here? Okay, does take it. Try to stop Axe. There's the punish. And uh, baby, I just looked it up, and this is actually very similar to his. Uh, we, he's got like. Oh really? Yeah, he's got like one less lodestone, one less spring the trap, and just a few other cards that are changed around. But yeah, and a new item deck, I think, of course. But yeah, gotcha. Really interesting. Bringing it back. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Hours for the taking. Dude, Stormlike was my, uh, I was so mad because I was rooting so, so for Teddy at we play, and Stormlike squandered Teddy's run. Oh, and then he, he went on his own run, but. Let's see if he can pull the same magic here today. <laughs> I mean, uh. That Lodestone is such a threat, though, in this mirror matchup, though. He doesn't even need to draw it, and Underscore is going to have to play around it, you know? He can't commit hard into a TOT. Um, I mean, if the situation is dire enough, he might risk it, based on statistics, yeah. right? Because, as he said, he's a mathematician, and <laughs> one out of four. So, so let me ask you something. Uh, you're a mathematician. Your opponent, minus armors, double edges, his own hero. If you do, if you load stone, do you gain life? No. Okay. It just subtracts it from the amount that you would uh, lose. Does it actually? I didn't know that it subtracts. Oh, I'm pretty sure it does. I'd never tested that. Because it's equal to the total armor on enemies, so plus two minus two is zero. I guess. Well, he's stacking in lane uh, lane one, totally giving it up. Right here, no deployments. Let's just double fight through the pain. He's gonna be able to do whatever he wants right here. Your stormlight. And you know he didn't get the the nasal goose down, and now it's gonna be too uncomfortable to play them. Honestly, he's committed to winning mid, but is he gonna be able to now? I'm not so sure. Oh, just another little interesting thing is uh, Underscore has five health items, which is a bit different, so he's got ten items total. Oh, my machines will tear you apart! Ooh, March is right here. Wait, did he just take initiative to play March in the same lane? Yeah, I don't know why you take initiative <laughs> there. What's well, gonna yeah. shut that down? Yeah, um, we're seeing some kind of strange initiative plays. Um, it was also that initiative play to heal the Luna, right? Last round, last game. I guess he's playing around enough magic. That's the only explanation to do that. I mean, which is true. It was a pretty fearsome looking enough magic. And he figured getting the march was down. Mm, that makes sense. It's better yeah. than getting the heal first. So yeah, it just looks really strange when you look at it from from our perspective. Right? I'm ready to stand Yeah, it's it's because of magic. But Stonehall leads pretty good. It's got that two armor. It's not gonna get hit by the. Uh... Yep. There we she is. Show them there he mark. is.
Laser still up. Sacrifice is still up. I mean, the sacrifice of creep, right? If nothing else. Ah, uh, I don't know. You're bleeding in the lane. Think you, you gave yeah. up lane three. You know, everything counts. I guess it's only two damage, but I don't think you can. Yeah. I mean, with a march down, that's two additional damage. Okay, but look at look at Stormlight's hand. Like he needs he needs powerhouse cards, and he's stuck. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like he needs more late game. I think he should have drawn a card. Personally. Yeah, I mean, this is very hard to come back. He does have the double deploys here. Oh, and double creeps. Mm -hmm. Okay, if anything's gonna do it. The thing is, the march barely hits anything if you look at that field. It does one to LC, and then it hits the creeps. But the Stonehall lead is fine. Like. Hello. Sorry, well, Storm now can, uh, he can kill three heroes, can't, well, two heroes, sorry. So, Dude. he got pretty, he got the best position, the one that he was looking for. He got Lodestone, dude. What if... <laughs> oh my god. He can sneak some damage in this turn. Next turn, Underscore just goes for the TOT. Well, he'd have to kill the Sensor first. I mean, you just called here, surely. Yeah, you got a double. That's only 9 damage, though. Yeah, that sucks to look at. I guess he's gonna be... so... This is scary, though. Like, if he was holding double edges... Phew. It's true, yeah. <laughs> he, he just loses to them. He can still spot and look for them. But he could only get one, that's the thing. So I think Berserkers is probably better. Maybe. Acts likes to show his chiseled physique, but and I was going to say, why not just go for the armor first? But that means the Trebs comes down. So if there, it, it is actually worth Maybe not worth it. Because he I mean, wasn't going to be able to comfortably put that down. I think if you're underscore, you can comfortably do a two-man TOT in the middle and not worry about demolition at all. I mean, there's only one for now, but I can theory if there were two. Or you could even go to just kill the last lane if you can hold the middle. Yeah, he's got a two-turn clock over in last. And now the creeps come in for uh, underscore, so... Let's see what items Stormlight gets. If he has blink, he's gonna be a oh he doesn't. But he does he is gonna be able to play something and hold initiative. You know what's about to happen, don't you? And if I'm Stormlike, I'm afraid to play my card. I'm afraid to spend my mana without getting the kill. Because then, uh... Sucks not to have a duel. <clears throat> he can't even face, face boots over to him. I'll rob a lot, this. Yeah, this feels, this feels correct. He has to be a reactive. Also, a little note is that uh, Stormlike used two duels early on, and one of them, I think, was was it turn one on a creep or turn two on? So he might be kind of regretting that right now. Yeah, that would have been pretty nice right here. He, he is. It does feel like he's going to be able to make the comeback in this lane, but with the clock in last lane, it just feels way too slow. Yeah. He needs a march, basically. I don't know, he's still got his man right here. Oh, he's spending it like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Chad is actually just pointing out something interesting now. Why does Stonelike's deck have three enough magics? Well, yeah, I was going to point it. I, I, yeah, is I don't know. Is super against mono blue or what? I guess he is going against what he thought was probably going to be mono yeah, blue. Yeah, no way that you expected this. No way. I mean, yeah. did anyone here expect this? I didn't. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could expect a normal mono rip, right? Ooh, 
Yeah, he's much better. I suppose. I just don't know. Who can stand against us? It is game two. Like, if I was seeing underscore switch gears, I don't think I would have bet on game two. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we did hear it. Like, he's rolling the dice. So. Ooh, double. Apparently, he's also rolling the dice for which heroes to include. <laughs> Run beside me. This is their end. Damn. So if he if he blinks to mid here, uh, TOT is will take the tower, right? There is no, glory no, wait, he doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> wow, he really used those to ensure the clock right here, and then I think he's gonna put three heroes in mid and just, just defend this turn. Just make sure you don't time of triumph. <laughs> no, one stand against the red <laughs> no, but it could system. really set it up, though. It could really set yeah, it up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that will be 4, 8, 12, plus Keep in mind, 3, it's at 22. 15, yeah. That's 15 damage you know, just on 3 mana, so plus 4. Yeah, yeah. yeah 22. You know, I actually want to play that deck with Centaur, where uh, his you play Rend armor, so his minus armor becomes plus armor. <laughs> I've never tried that, but it sounds so fun. Yeah, the Rend armor. I did that once. I didn't win, but I had fun. I think that's all that matters, right? I guess, yeah? Well, eh, all that matters? <laughs> Probably not so, all that matters. Look at mid lane here and imagine if he had Roar. He's thinking about last for maybe chain fast if he pulls it, but I don't know. I think you gotta go for the win, maybe. It, it, it depends on if he pulls a blink, though. You know, like, I don't know if you got one. No, it, he has Jaspers and uh, TPs. No, I'm talking about Stormlink. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it shows you? It doesn't show me. I right know. So now as underscore, you just have to defend middle and you've won. Yep. I mean, you know, 8 gold, that can't be a... And that'll be a 1-1, one, one, right? So interesting series coming up. Hopefully. Yeah, and uh, underscore is showing us he's not afraid to spice things up a little bit, you know? Unless underscore just pops the TOT here and he loads some. <laughs> TOT? TOT for literally no reason, underscore. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, I don't think he would do that. It's such a bad play. There you go. I, he has no way to set it up without it. He, he can't call anything, right? I guess he can... He can call uh, onto BB right now, but that only sets up nine more. Then he all he has is... Stormlight has ten seconds, bear in mind. Yeah. Now he can't. Now he can't afford a lodestone if he, yeah, if he wanted to. I mean, obviously it doesn't take lethal. Actually, so it, it would, it would with the jaspers. Would, yeah. yeah. I mean, he would get blocked anyway. But so wait, did did he? Well, he kind of lost his own way of getting lethal because he used the fight through the pain. Yeah. Right. And he so didn't actually he... have to do that because yeah. the he wasn't going to die to the LC alone. That's the thing. There was the I'll stun. Any advantage I can get. <laughs> and there's now even more armor on the board. That's not a bar stall, but it will do the trick. Well, he doesn't have the lodestone anymore. Damn it. <laughs> lodestone! <laughs> this is how it was at Wii Play, man. Like, everybody wanted lodestone so bad, but we never got lodestone. The guy who won even had it and like never used it. Let's see what you're made. Die for me. Looks like there's no way out of this. This would have been an upkeep kill, but yeah, unfortunately for him, lane three looking pretty poor, so. We're gonna see underscore with his surprise mono red deck <laughs> taking it down. Yeah. Sweet. Both players, so this is basically until now, 
the, the story of this match is who surprises who. I guess so, yeah. I mean, that was quite the surprise. Ursa Centaur. Wow. I'm pretty su I'm pretty surprised, dude. <laughs> well, hey, I guess we got three casters, so that means I can go for four.